Hello, beautiful people. So Allie Virtue from Parkside Nutrition here, functional medicine nutritionist. And today we are talking about what would you get from Walmart or what would I get as a nutritionist if I'm traveling on the road and Walmart is my option? What would I buy? So I, I've tried to start filming this so many times because I kept adding stuff to my cart. I was very pleasantly surprised about the items available. So I'm excited to share them with you. And if you're watching this because you're on the email list, thank you for being there. If you're not on the email list, make sure you go to parksidenutrition.com and subscribe to the email list. I send out free trainings and tips and tricks and all the things every Friday. So it's called Free Shit Friday. I try to give out something valuable. And I hopefully this is very valuable and one of those wonderful things that will help you going forward. Let's dig into it. Let's move. So you can see I got excited over here. So originally that was like $50 and then I kept adding stuff because I kept finding things that would be helpful. Um, obviously this is not just one trip, but lots of things that I feel like would be helpful for you to pick up if you're on the road, running through Walmart, etc. So let's dig into it. So where it started, the origin story for this is I had a client who's on the road and Walmart is the place because it's a small town, but they have a Walmart. It's a one-stop shop, has most of the things. What could you get that literally could be a dinner kind of on the road or a quick stop? So that is where this started. Now I opened it up a little bit. So if you're traveling and say you get into your destination and Walmart is close to your hotel, you can go to Walmart. So maybe you have access to a microwave. These are a ton of options. So hopefully something that we talk about today will fit your particular needs. So I started out with a freezer options and they do have lots of like healthy choice, uh, Marie Calendar, and basically my priorities when I'm looking for healthy options is I need a significant protein source. I want some plants in there. I need some starch, but starch and fat, those things usually find their way in there. I don't have to look too hard to find them and relatively simple ingredients. I'm not gonna, you know, fine tooth comb through every single ingredient, but generally it should be generally Whole Foods. So let's take a look at this very first one and why I picked it. Now, we won't go into every single item, but let's see here. So the ingredients. So this is one, one thing I do want to highlight. So this is a healthy choice meal, literally healthy choice. Sometimes they're too low calorie. Low calorie is not always my option. Obviously it's easy to add calories. So sometimes that's why these meals are beneficial. But fair warning, if you buy this thinking like, this will be a great dinner, healthy option, you might be hungry in a little bit. If this is the only thing you're having for dinner, look at this, people. It's 290 calories. A protein bar is usually about 200 calories. So this is not that dense in calories. Um, it does have a decent amount of carbohydrates, 20 grams of protein. So it hits that minimum there. Uh, that's the minimum I want in a meal. So again, maybe I pair this with something else. Maybe this is literally half the meal that could be a good option. So especially if you have access to a microwave, this could work. It's relatively low on fat. That's basically where this wins, where this meal wins. Three grams of fiber, okay, not a ton, but you know, it's it's something. So that's basically why I chose that particular product. And a lot of those meals are pretty similar. And again, you're gonna have to be just mindful that they might just be too low calorie. So this is one of my favorites, Mission Super Soft, Super Soft Carbohydrate, Balance whole wheat, soft tacos. Basically, carb balance has a ton of fiber is what I'm trying to say with that. Uh, I think it's about 15 grams of fiber. 18, 18 grams of fiber in one of these wraps. Pretty phenomenal, pretty low calorie, minimal fat, minimal, mm, decent fiber actually for a wrap. So, oops, a lot of wins there. Big, big fan of these. And to be honest, it might not be like the easiest thing to do, but we'll buy these, slap some cream cheese or hummus on there throw some greens, some deli meat. You got yourself a good wrap and it's easy to drive with. So I am a big fan of having wraps as an option for driving. Very, very handy. You can also do the same thing with a sandwich. Uh, traveling, I really like to incorporate some probiotic foods, especially if you're sitting for a while. If you're flying, it's really easy to get bloated and just kind of an upset gut. So for that, I really like to include some carp. <laughs> for that, I really like to... <laughs> For that, I really like to include some kombucha, something to sip on. We have a lot of dairy-free options, actually. So if you're not having cheese, per se, there is some dairy-free cheese, depending on your location, obviously. Uh, but otherwise, if I'm going to a hotel-type situation, I would definitely grab some yogurt. That's such an easy breakfast in the morning. Throw some berries on top of it. You're probably going to have a hotel fridge. Perfect. Um, I didn't add to this list, but hard-boiled eggs would be a great one. 
Um, otherwise, a really high protein yogurt ratio um, is a pretty good one. They do have, I think, some dairy free options, so check those out. Perfect bars, pretty good snack, um, pretty dense snack. So if you're hiking or super active, those would be a great fit. Um, they are fairly delicious, so just make sure you're actually hungry when you have those because they're tasty. I myself have to be about 2% hungry before I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll have a perfect bar. It's delicious. Um, light cream cheese would go great on a wrap, especially if you're driving. If you have a loose wrap and there's nothing like holding it together, sometimes like the contents just fall out and it's messy and etc. So if you have like something like hummus or light cream cheese, that can hold, hold it together a little bit better and yeah, makes it work. Uh, otherwise, a protein drink, 23 grams of protein, this is a great option. Hummus individual packets, that could be good. This is another gluten-free wrap. Tastes pretty good, doesn't require toasting. Some of the ones like Siete usually are better toasted, so a little bit harder if you're on the road. Olipop, if you um, haven't gone poop that day because you're driving all day, Olipop is very helpful. Huge amount of fiber, I think about eight, eight grams in a drink. It's pretty good. Plus, it's a great soda alternative if you're craving something sweet. So highly, highly recommend those. Driving snack, I am a huge fan of sugar snap peas. I think they're delicious. They got good crunch. They got a good amount of water in them, so they're hydrating. It's a great, great snack. Otherwise, fruit plus... Uh, I think it might, I'm not sure where it is on my list here, um, but they also have like single serve peanut butter, which you can fly with. You can just use the single serve stuff and they also have the shelf stable squeezable ones. Is it the best quality peanut butter? No. Is there some sugar in it? Yes. Is there some poor quality oils in it? Maybe. Fits the need. I don't eat like this all the time. If These are niche situations, right? So we're just doing a little bit better than like, you know, crappy junk food type stuff. So I really like to grab some of that and pair it with a little bit of fruit. Super easy. Bag of greens, again, for those wraps, if that's an option, you can omit that part if you want to, if you think it's just too messy. Again, if you're going somewhere that has a little kitchenette situation, you could get one of these um, slaw bags, grab a little bit of mayo maybe, or some vinegar if your hotel or Airbnb has that, that could be good. Always trying to prioritize plants on the road because usually that's a hard, hard thing to find. And then some of these salad kits could work really well. And again, sometimes they're too low calorie. So let's take a look. At this one um, no this one is not 520 calories that's pretty good uh, carbohydrates of uh, 54 grams 4 grams of fiber not a ton of fiber uh, protein 19 so decent um, and total fat 25 a little higher on the fat side so if I have a vinegar option I might use this wait this is a pasta salad that makes more sense if I get a salad salad like this guy over here then I might it's actually probably better let's see yeah so way less fat way less carbs, almost no carbs. So this I might actually add, um, put it in a wrap or add some microwavable rice on the side to get more carbohydrates. And I would add more protein. So for me, I would probably put some deli meat on top of this or rotisserie chicken to boost the protein content. But it could serve as a good base and it's gonna be a lot of volume. Uh, but again, only 170 calories for this whole thing. So don't think family size, ironic family size and it's 170 calories per serving. That's pretty light. That's pretty light. So I might eat this whole thing all by myself. So if this container um, is three and a half servings, you know, it's it's not a lot. So be prepared to combine things. There's nothing wrong with that. Another salad, blueberries, really try to have something fresh. Highly recommend berries. Again, boost of fiber, good for your gut. And we'll get those bowels moving uh, more regularly if that is an issue for you when you're traveling. Power bowls, these are really good that clients just keep on hand if they need an emergency dinner in the freezer. Um, and a quick, quick, easy thing to pick up and pretty cheap, really. So they might not be super high calorie, but I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, they have pretty, 20 grams of protein. Not bad for a freezer meal. Let's see, carbs, 19. Seven grams of fiber, decent. Fat, about six grams. So this is pretty good. Again, low calorie, so I'd probably add to this, um, but a fantastic option I would definitely um, use on the road. Another healthy choice meal. Again, I believe this one is pretty darn low calorie, so I would not have this one just on its own. I would probably add something to this because I believe it's literally 190 calories. It's a nice snack. Uh, literally, it could be a great snack. I'm not really joking too much because 28 grams of protein is fantastic for a snack. Very low carbohydrate, very low fat. Um, and only, again, this is similar to most protein bars. So it can be a legitimately good snack. Sometimes if, if clients are having a tr tough time finding a good snack that is not, 
you know, contributing too many carbs, too much fat for the protein that they want. Sometimes I'll have them just pack another meal and they'll turn that meal, that fourth meal, into two different snacks. So this could serve that purpose. And then there's another one here, uh, shrimp Alfredo. This one is going to be pretty moderate in fat, which helps us out because of the super lean shrimp. Otherwise, a little bit better calorie amount here, almost 400. So getting closer to an actual meal. Um, fine amount of carbs, 25 grams of protein. So, so far, this is probably one of the higher protein options, which is pretty good. And 11 grams of fat, that's pretty awesome too. So I would definitely try that one out. Then here is a bunch of just like freezer veggie options. So this could be traveling or this could be you just having some vegetables in the freezer for when you don't want to cook. These would be fantastic and very affordable prices as well. Same thing, steamed ones, ones you can bake. If you use them in the air fryer, usually that works decently well as well. This is one of my favorite protein shakes items really ever. Um, I first had them when we were in Vegas and they taste really, really good. Uh, 20 grams of protein, plant protein, only what you need is what that stands for. So plant-based protein source. It also is not very high in carbohydrates, which is really good for a plant protein. Plants are made out of carbohydrates, so they're usually higher in carbs. That's just how it is. Um, this one is not. Orgain is also another good brand that does that, but very impressive macros there, and they honestly taste really good. So highly recommend that. Not the cheapest, but high quality stuff. I have not tried these myself, but clients have. And they love them. <laughs> they probably taste really, really good. Um, but legendary protein pastries. So that could be a, a good option for you if you want something sweet. Um, it's also gluten-free, keto-friendly, so very low carb. Um, haven't tried them myself, but there you go. And then protein bars. Uh, Bear Bells. Bear Bells. Protein bars. And then Cliff Builder bars are some of my favorites. Um, deli turkey. I always try to get the oven-roasted deli, deli breast slices if possible. Not the cheapest, but... There's what it is. And then this is the squeezable um, peanut butter. That could be really helpful. And then this is a tuna salad kit. Very helpful. Has crackers. Could be a fantastic, very affordable, high protein, low fat option snack or component to a meal. All right. Did I make it through that? All that? Look at me go, guys. That's a pretty decent amount of time. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, I will attach a PDF resource for this too, so you can get a little bit of a a quick guide, so to speak, for this if you want to keep this in your back pocket for when you travel or if you want these as kind of emergencies stocked at your house. Quick, easy meals that you can just assemble and throw together. And again, I think pretty decent prices for what you're getting. So try it out. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this. Was this helpful? Was this not? Um, and feel free to share this with a friend. Um, hopefully these resources are helpful. And again, make sure you're subscribed to parksidenutrition.com if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.